Welcome back, it's your guy Engineer Mojo. Today we're gonna to be working on my 2003 Toyota Tacoma. We're gonna to be changing out the gear oil to the transfer case. This is a very simple process. To get it started off fast, tools you'll need are, you'll need some sort of wire brush just to clean off the bolt surfaces where you'll be removing plugs. You'll possibly need a breaker bar. This may or may not be needed depending on how tight the drain plugs were applied previously. You'll need a torque wrench. Now this tool is optional and I'll explain why later in the video. You'll need a 24 millimeter socket. You'll need some washers for your drain plugs. Now this is a full pack you can buy for your rear differential, your transfer case, and your front differential. I got this off of Amazon. You'll have the two washers that you'll need for your transfer case. I'll put the part numbers down below in the video description of the exact washers that you need that you can buy from Toyota, or you can buy them online. You'll need 75W90 gear oil, and you'll also need a oil catch pan. That's all the tools you'll need. Now this process will apply to four runners, T100s, and tundras uh, with slight variations possibly on socket sizes, the amount of gear oil you need, but it's a very similar process. This is your transfer case. As you can see, is right adjacent to the catalytic converter on the first gen Tacomas. Here is the fill plug, and here is the drain plug. And I'll take the wire brush and I'll just clean around here just to be able to keep barring debris from getting inside uh, the transfer case when I apply new gear oil. Also note that I will be removing the fill plug first. Remove this first, just so that if you can't get this off for some reason, you'll still be able to drive your truck around to be able to take it to a shop to be able to get it off. If you remove the drain plug first, then you're kind of out of luck. You'll be stuck uh, with your truck in whatever location that you started this process. Let's go ahead and scrub. With both surfaces cleaned up a little bit, always fill plug first, drain plug second, just to make sure that you can get it off. You may need to use PP Blaster for this, but if somebody put this on correctly, it won't be that tight. Some Sometimes people over torque these and you need to uh, put some PP Blaster in a, in a breaker bar, but let's see what we can do. That was pretty easy. Here is the Fill plug, here's a washer that you'll replace. Next, we'll go to the drain plug. Make sure you have your catch pan in place. And again, that was fairly easy. My fluid is pretty, pretty dark. This hasn't been changed in a while. I'll go ahead and I'll let that drain for about a couple minutes, five minutes or so. Now, as that drains, quick note, uh, in the tool description down below, I gave you the exact capacity you'll need for at least a first generation Tacoma. Uh, but you can also find that information out in your owner's manual if you have a different model. But the capacity is not that important to know because just like your typical transmission case, you just fill the transfer case with gear oil until it starts to trickle out of the fill plug. Not the drain plug, but the fill plug. Once it starts to trickle out, you know that you reach the optimum capacity of the transfer case and you can stop filling. Now again, I'm using Mobile One 7590 gear oil. It's not really important the brand. This is just convenient for me. I do like these bottles though. It's a little simpler to pour into the transfer case. Easily maneuver this tip right inside the transfer case fill hole. Here's a little cap. Make sure you remove this. And let's take some scissors and I cut it about where I want it. A little line indicator give you some guidance. But here you go, now you're ready to use it to fill your transfer case. Also gonna replace the washers before I reinstall the drain and fill plugs. Now these washers are sometimes on here a little tight, so I take a flathead screwdriver and gently maneuver the old washer off, old one off, new washer applied, to the plug, and I'll do the same for the fill plug right now. Transfer case is finished draining, so I'll go ahead and I'll replace the drain plug. Again, with the new washer on there. Now the torque setting for this bolt 
is between 20 and 30 foot pounds. Down below in the video description, I give you the exact uh, torque setting that you'll need. Now, this is why I explain that a torque wrench may be optional uh, because it's not that much. It means your typical oil pan drain plug, and many people don't use torque wrenches for that. Uh, I know I don't. For this case, again, you may not need to use a torque wrench if you feel comfortable just making it snug tight. You can kind of feel what 20 to 30 foot pounds feels like. It's just an oil drain plug. Uh, it's pretty similar to that. So if you don't want to spend the money, if you don't have it, do not need a torque wrench in my opinion. Now per the service manual, you do. Uh, but do that at your own risk, whatever you feel comfortable doing. Just, that's just a quick blurb. Go ahead and get this plug just tight so that I'm not worried about any leaks. I'll go back just because since I have the torque wrench out, I'll go back and torque it down. Phil, just maneuver your catch pan over to right below your fill hole. Make sure you have your fill plug ready to reinstall. Take your gear oil. Move your top and just begin filling through the fill plug hole. Put it in there and then start squeezing. And after a while, you'll see gear oil start to trickle out. Relieve some space and there you go. As you see, it's starting to trickle out. That means that it is enough gear oil in there. Go ahead and apply your fill bolt. And again, I'll go back and I'll torque this down to the proper setting since I have the torque wrench, but just to get it tight right now. Go ahead and just clean this area up when you're done, wiping the excess oil. Draining and refilling of your transfer case gear oil is now complete. Very simple job, very simple process. Any questions, please hit me up down below. Any comments, hit me up down below. Any tips, tell me down below. I love to hear about tips to help me, help the community. And as always, I make these videos because I've learned so much from YouTube. I'm just trying to pass it forward as well. Thanks for watching. I'm out.